In today's guide, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Gore and how to build Gore properly, aka pressing E, pressing Q, and then switching to your main DPS and attack. Why is it that every single Geo support play the exact same? Goro Elemental Skill will put down a few and will give a buff to the on-field party member. This is not a Geo Construct and will not resonance with Zhongli Pillar or count toward the Geo Construct limit. I actually said this wrong in a previous video. The party member in the circle will receive a buff according to the amount of Geo party member in your party. This buff is static. That means that Goro stat do not affect this buff at all, which means Goro is not very stat dependent. As the buff gives you defense or geo damage, that means Goro is paired the best with geo character that skill with defense, aka either Noel or Ito. For a geo main DPS like Ito, the buff that you get is very significant, and as C6 Goro, you can get about a 47% damage increase, which is a lot. Goro Elemental Burst create the exact same feel, but with the additional property that it will now follow you around and it will pull a crystallized crystal to you every 1.5 seconds. You want to cast Goro Elemental Burst right before you switch to your main DPS and attack because his duration is rather short. This also means that the correct sequence of casting is start with your Goro Elemental skills into your Albedo Elemental skill to snapshot the defense bonus, finally followed by Goro Elemental skills and then Ito Elemental skills or Noel. If you're playing with Ito, please be aware that you cannot all swap to Ito because it will not snapshot the defense buff. When you press left alt and the corresponding character key in Genshin Impact, instead of switching to the character and then casting their Elemental Burst, you will immediately cast their Elemental Burst and then switch characters. However, if you do this on Ito, it will not snap shot the defense buff that is granted by Goro. So what that means is that you must first cast Goro buff and then switch to Ito manually and then cast Ito Elemental Burst. This does not affect Noel, so you can still do out swap on Noel when you're playing with Goro. In terms of building Goro for its weapon, Phonius Warbow is pretty much a must, as Goro Elemental Skill only generate 2 Geo Particle, which is very very low on the energy. So this will dramatically help battering your other party member. But you can run other energy recharge bow like Sacrificial Bow or LG for the end. Phonius Bow pretty much win by a long short unless you have other reason to run other bow. Weaving in one or two normal attack between his elemental skill is recommended as it gives you a higher chance to proc the Phonius passive. If you are playing Noel together with Goro, since Noel elemental burst does not end when you switch out of Noel, what that means is that you can switch to Goro every couple of seconds, attack one or two times to proc the Phonius bow passive, switch back to Noel to catch those white energy, and it will help dramatically when you're trying to battery Noel. It also makes it possible to fully cycle Noel elemental burst with just Goro alone, assuming that your Noel have little bit of energy recharge like at 120% or 130%. If you don't have Boomer Finger or you're not playing on mobile, what you can actually do is switch to Goro and do a very quick headshot which will always be guaranteed to critical strike to proc the Phonius Bow passive. As I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, Goro is not stat dependent at all. That means you don't need to force a artifact set bonus at all, just build whatever have the best substat. Now because Goro does have a 80 energy cost elemental burst, building a tons of ER especially with a ER sense is highly recommended. Currently, because I'm running with a Phonius Bow, I'm actually pushing critical rate on top of that just so I can proc my Phonius Bow passive reliably. For example, right now, I actually have 225 energy ER with 81 critical rate on my Goro, which allow me to easily proc my Phonius Bow passive. But as I mentioned before, headshot have a 100% critical rate, so if you can reliably proc the headshot, then you do not actually need to build any critical rate. Otherwise, one of the best set bonus for Goro is actually going to be the Exile 4P set, which not only give him 20% energy recharge, but it also give his entire party 6 energy after casting his elemental burst, which is really really nice for other energy hungry characters like Ito or Noel. Hopefully you didn't toss out your Exile artifact like I did, but if you end up running Exile, the 4 P's that you should be running are your Flower, Feather, Sands, and then Goblet, because this will leave your circlet slot open, and it will allow you to run a 5 star circlet, which should be your critical rate circlet to proc the phone as both passive. Some other artifacts that bonus that you can run is either 2 Hus, 2 Emblem, which gives you 30% defense and 20% energy recharge, 2 Emblem, 2 Exile, which is 40% energy recharge as I mentioned before, or you could just run the 4 piece Hus off all plan dream artifact set if you want to do a little bit more damage on your Goro, but honestly, it is not worth farming for an artifact set, just look for whatever have the best substat, or just go for Exile as Exile is easy to Farm. The main stat that you're looking for is Critical Rate Circlet, a Defense Goblet, and finally a Energy Recharge Sense, with the substat priority being ER into either Critical Rate or Defense Percent. Talents wise, the only thing you have to level is his Elemental Skill, as that's the only thing that increases the bonus that he gives. 
Uh, leveling his elemental burst will give him a little bit nicer damage, but honestly, it doesn't really matter since Goro's damage is so insignificant and you don't really feel him for damage anyway. In my opinion, Goro is rather constellation lock, and so that's unfortunate because he's currently only available on the Ito banner. Uh, while his constellation 1 is not that big of a deal, as it only decreases his elemental skill cooldown by 2 seconds, and it often desyncs his cooldown and doesn't fit into rotation, so it's not too big of a deal, his other constellations are quite good. For example, Constellation 2 can extend your elemental burst by 3 seconds, which means that you will be able to get the Goro buff for the entire duration of your Ito elemental burst. Right now, it's not possible as it only lasts for 9 and Ito elemental burst lasts for more than that. Do keep in mind that you need to do a crystallized reaction and pick up a crystallized shard in order to actually get the Constellation 2 bonus. But if you're running a pure mono geo team, like for example Ito, Albedo, Goro and then Zhongli, you actually have no element to apply to crystallize, so unless your enemy already have an element on them, you cannot do any crystallize and you cannot proc the constellation 2 at all. So that's something you have to be mindful of, is that you will need to be running at least a single character that is not Geo to proc this passive reliably. Constellation 4 Goro is really good as you are now able to free up a healer from your party if you do require a healer, for example you are facing enemy that will apply corrosion to your entire party. It will heal your active member by 50% of Goro defense every 1.5 seconds, and the biggest value here is again it just free up the healer slot if you do need one, so it's really really good. Finally, Constellation 6 Goro is really really good, but I don't think I have to really explain why. It gives your entire party a 40% critical damage buff onto their Geo attack, and because you are running Goro into a Geo party most likely, this is going to be a significant damage boost for your entire party, mostly Ito, Noel, or Albedo. So this is really really good, but it is a C6, so... In terms of team drafting, I think it's pretty obvious you either pair him with Ito or you pair him with Noel, as those are currently the only two characters in the game that scale with defense and do geo damage. Now of course you are incentivized to run triple geo at the very least when you are running Goro and as that will maximize the buff that you get from Goro, but I'll be honest, Yes, but you don't have to. I just want to make a call out that just because you are running Goro does not mean you have to run Triple Geo. And again, as I have shown you before, just using Goro is actually possible to battery Noel already. It is a little bit tight and you will need some energy recharge on Noel, but it is possible and you don't have to run Triple Geo. For example, it is possible to run something like Noel, Goro, Bedit, and then Chang Ling together. I think in the end that Goro is actually a really amazing character. He is able to power up Noel or Ito by a huge amount. Even though Goro elemental skill only generate 2 Geo particles, because you can just run Rainbow Artifact or you can just run 4 star Artifact like the Ixal set, as well as just running the Fav Bolt and then building really high crit rate to proc the Fav Bolt, he actually end up generating a huge amount of energy for either Ito or Noel and does power them really really well. I think Goro play a huge part in Mono Geo team with either Ito or Noel by giving them a significant damage bonus as well as a really good amount of energy regeneration. Not to mention he also buff your Albedo if you have it into your party and Goro definitely deserve credit for doing so, so give him some hat pad. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you learned a thing here or two, so I'll see you all next time.